So we're in the middle of May 2023 and we've got this crazy debt ceiling battle that's going on. Who knows how that's going to play out. And though there may be many investors out there that are scared and have a lot of anxiety about what could possibly go wrong, there are still plenty of quality dividend stocks available right now at a deep discount. In this video, I'm going to share with you four different dividend stocks. One of them you've definitely heard of, and it's a great buy right now. The other three, you've probably never heard of. And when I say deep discount, I mean it up to a 59% discount. All right, guys, here is the May 2023 dividend stock spreadsheet, which I've mentioned previously is available. If you join the Patreon community, you can join for only $5 a month and get access to this spreadsheet every month which tracks all of the dividend stocks that have been raising their dividend now for at least five consecutive years. But if you want the all access pass, where you get access to my portfolio and all the changes that I make and all of the covered calls and cash secured puts that I write every month, and to be part of the Average Joe Discord community with over 300 Average Joe investors right now, make sure to check out the link in the description below. You can join for $15 a month for that tier. Okay, so this is all the stocks. So there's over 700 of them here that have been raising their dividend for five consecutive years. But that doesn't mean that all of them are a great buy right now, or that some of them might be at the risk of cutting their dividend. So we're gonna make some adjustments here, including only look at companies that have positive revenue growth of at least 10% over the past one year, three years, and five years on average. Only dividend stocks with positive dividend growth rates for the past one, three, and five years greater than 4%. Dividend yield must be at least 3%. It must be on discount right now, and it must have a reasonable payout ratio. All right, here we go. We got four dividend stocks to cover here. The first one, the one you probably know, and that is Realty Income Corporation, ticker symbol O. This is an amazing dividend stock that is a real estate investment trust, meaning that it owns real estate, and it allows you, by proxy, to own real estate. It's been raising it's dividend now for 30 consecutive years, which makes it a dividend aristocrat. Current price as of May 15th is $62.03 per share, which is slotted right in between their 52 week low and their high. It's got great revenue growth over the past one, three, and five years, as noted here. The one, three, five, and 10 year dividend growth rates are excellent. The most recent year is actually in double digits 12.3%, 5.7%. 4.8% and then 5.6% over the one, three, five, and 10 years. Current dividend yield is 4.93% against a historical five-year yield of 4.56%, which is only an 8% discount. So not sure if you can call that deep, but it is on discount right now and is a high quality dividend stock. Realty Income only does monthly options as you can see right here. So it's not a great fit if, you're, if you really wanna capture a lot of option premium with covered calls and cash secured puts, but it's a great stock to hold long term. The payout ratio based on free cash flow is 73% over the trailing 12 months and 96% last year. Now, one thing to remember with real estate investment trusts, in order to keep their beneficial tax break as a real estate investment trust, they have to distribute at least 90% of their taxable income. So it's perfectly normal and reasonable to see elevated payout ratios for real estate investment trusts. And if you look at Seeking Alpha for the adjusted funds from operations, which is the standard way to look at payout ratios, we can see that they're forward ratio is at 76% and they're trailing 12 months is at 76% as well. Very stable. Like I said, if you're looking to have exposure to real estate, and especially if you're going to do it in a retirement account, a tax advantage account, where is the which is the best way to actually own a real estate investment trust because they're not exactly tax efficient. Realty Income Corporation, especially right now, is a no-brainer. It's a great fit right now for long-term buy and hold portfolios. All right, dividend stock number two we're looking at here is one that you may or may not have heard of, and that is Chenier Energy Partners LP, ticker symbol CQ. P. This dividend stock is in the energy sector of the economy, and specifically, it is a master limited partnership, or MLP. Now, MLPs are a little bit unique in the sense that you don't get issued a 1099 DIV for tax purposes. You get a Schedule K-1 because you are a partner as opposed to a shareholder. A little bit unique there. There are some tax benefits that come with that. And if you own it in a retirement account, there are some things to watch out for as well if you have a sizable position. So Chenier Energy Partners has been paying increasing dividends now for seven consecutive years, which makes them a dividend challenger. They don't have a significant history, but still seven years of raising their dividend every single year. Current price is $45.85 per share as of May 15th, which is pretty close to their 52 week low price. As you can see, they have really strong revenue growth. 56%, 35%, and 27% over the past one, three, and five years. Their dividend growth rates as well over the past one, three, and five years are really strong. 14.6%, 8%, and then 11.6%. Their current dividend yield is 6.76%, 
against a historical five-year yield of 6.43%. I know that 5% is not a very deep discount, but trust me, stick around for the next two because they are at discounts exceeding 50% right now. Now, Chenier also has a monthly option chain and not an ideal fit for those that want to write covered calls. The payout ratio based on the trailing 12 months of free cash flow is 41%. And then over the previous year, it's at 91%. Just like real estate investment trusts, master limited partnerships also receive special tax breaks as long as they pass through at least 90% of their taxable income directly to shareholders. So just like with Realty Income Corporation, it's normal and reasonable to see master limited partnerships and specifically Chenier Energy have an elevated payout ratio. Now Chenier Energy Partners LP, if you look down here, it's a Delaware limited partnership and it provides clean, secure, and affordable LNG. Well, what is LNG? That is liquefied natural gas. But you never really talk about liquefied natural gas or LNG. You think of it as fracking. Okay, so Chenier Energy, kind of a unique fit for a portfolio. Again, if you're looking for long-term buy and hold, looking for quality dividend stock, and specifically if you're trying to add some diversification away from companies like Chevron or ExxonMobil, this is a unique dividend stock that is best owned in a brokerage account as opposed to a retirement account because it's a master limited partnership that has some unique tax benefits in the form of deferred tax payments. Instead of paying taxes now, the distributions you do receive, again, they're distributions, not dividends, those distributions reduce your cost basis in the stock as opposed to actual tax payments right now. Eventually, when you sell the stock or your cost basis goes down to zero, that's when you start getting taxed on the actual distributions. And again, when you sell the stock, you'll actually have a larger capital gain as a result. So ideal for long-term holdings. All right, dividend stock number three, we're gonna enter the regional bank sector of the economy, which I know can be a little bit interesting right now, but stick with me for a second here. First Interstate Bank System Incorporated, ticker symbol F, I B K. Again, this is a regional bank. It's been increasing their dividend consecutively now for 10 consecutive years, which makes them a dividend contender. First Interstate Bank System is headquartered in Billings, Montana, but actually has a footprint in many states. Now, I know that there's a lot of concerns right now regarding regional banks. We saw what happened with First Republic and with Silicon Valley, and there's a very reasonable concern that other regional banks may be at risk of having a run on the bank, where people who have money in these banks decide that, you know what, I don't feel comfortable. I'm gonna move my money to a larger bank that I know is not going to fail and could potentially put that company in position to not having enough cash on hand to meet depositor demands to withdraw their money. So when we think about owning a regional bank right now, our thought process needs to be, is this a really solid company? Do they have enough cash on hand to cover the non-FDIC insured elements of the deposits? Remember that up to $250,000 in your account is insured by FDIC, but above and beyond that, it's not insured. So as you see right here, a deep discount. The current price is $21.78 a share against the 52 week low, which is only $21.03 and the 52 week high of $46.34. Revenue growth is really strong at 69% over the one year, 21% over the three years, and 16% on average over the five years. The dividend growth rates right here are also very strong, 7.3, 11.5, 12.0 and 13.6% growth over the past one, three, five, and 10 years. Their current dividend yield, 8.63% against a historical five-year average yield of only 4.17%, which is a 52, you heard me right, 52% discount against their historical dividend yield. This one also has only monthly options frequency, so not an ideal fit if you want to sell covered calls. Now with regional banks and all banks for that matter, we should be less concerned with free cash flow dividend payout ratio and more concerned with their payout ratio based on their net interest income, which is the primary revenue driver in banks. So as you can see here, I'm still building out this payout ratio across all the banks in the spreadsheet, but currently you can see that the payout ratio based on net interest income for the trailing 12 months is only 19 percent, which is very healthy, and their payout ratio based on free cash flow, 37 percent and 43 percent over the trailing 12 months and previous year, very healthy. One thing I want to call your attention to in their most recent investor presentation right here, the company has immediate liquidity of approximately $10.9 billion, or greater than 1.7 times the amount of uninsured deposit balances not subject to collateralization. What this means is, in the event that depositors feel like they need to pool their money because there's a lot of uninsured deposits and they wanna make sure that's with a larger bank that's not at risk of failing potentially, this bank can clearly show that they have more than enough 
liquid assets, assets they can tap into right away to cover any uninsured deposits in the event there is a minor run on the bank. All right, the last dividend stock we're covering here is one that is very unique. It's also a real estate investment trust, but I'm almost positive you've never heard of it. It is Innovative Industrial Properties Incorporated, ticker symbol IIPR. It's a REIT. It's been paying increasing dividends now for six consecutive years because this represents the entirety of the time that this REIT has been in business. Their current price per share is $69.42 per share and it's much closer to their 52 week low of $63.36 per share and much lower than their 52 week high of nearly $140 per share. Now what is Innovative Industrial Properties? Well, it's cannabis. In fact, they are the leading provider of real estate capital for the regulated cannabis industry. They essentially own the real estate in which cannabis companies have their product. And they have a national footprint here, as you can see, states here in blue, California, Nevada, Washington, North Dakota, Colorado, Texas, Arizona, Florida, New York, Pennsylvania. In total, $2.33 billion in invested capital, 110 properties in 19 states, 29 different tenants. Essentially, they own properties like this here in Maryland, New York, Massachusetts, Virginia, Ohio, etc. I'll admit this is a unique play and not one that I'm personally taking part in. However, it might be a unique way to diversify within real estate. And here's why. One, three, and five year growth rates for revenue are significant, 27%, 70% and 105% on average over the past five years. The dividend growth rates are also really strong, 16.3, 28.4, and 55% over the past one, three, and five years. Their dividend yield is amazing right now, 10.37%, against a historical five-year average yield of only 4.25%, which is, wait for it, a 59% discount. Again, monthly options frequency here, so not an ideal fit for selling covered calls. Their payout ratio based on free cash flow is pretty elevated, which we would expect with real estate investment trusts. But if we take a look at Seeking Alpha, we know that the best driver of dividend payout safety is actually the adjusted funds from operations or AFFO, which we can see down here is between 75 and 85%, which is actually their target. Make sure to leave your two cents down in the comments below. It's my goal to respond to as many, if not all comments I receive on the day I post a new video. That's all I got for you guys in this video. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.